just broke another gear. <laughs> There we go. What's up guys, Big Clive 34, let me get rid of these. Coming at you with Cars and Clive, the end of your automotive hangover, uh, every Monday, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you're watching this video, hopefully by now, last week's video got 5,000 thumbs up. I promise you guys that if it got 5,000 thumbs up, that I would get my head shaved and get a Dale Earnhardt 3 in the side of it. What? Parts update. I know you guys love seeing this. And uh, hold on, everything's a mess here. I'm just trying to make sure there's no addresses showing. As you can see here, we got the hot side complete with the crossover, uh, the manifold, and the other side is gonna use a stock exhaust manifold, and of course. So this, this little part isn't necessarily brought to you by VS Racing. I was gonna say brought to you by VS Racing, but uh, I wanna give them a big shout out. They gave me a pretty good deal on parts. Uh, from what I've seen, their shit runs its ass off. So we're gonna try it out. Uh, that's what we got in this little box right here is a VS Racing 78 millimeter turbo. Pretty much everything's here. I'm just waiting on a couple little parts. Uh, that's not gonna stop me from ripping into it anyway today. Uh, hold your horses. It's still a stock truck. I know I'm going to get yelled at in the comments for drag racing a stock truck as I trip over my lawnmower, but it's stock. This is probably going to be the last time you guys are going to see it completely stock. Uh, next week, we should be cracking into the beginning stages and showing you what we're going to be doing to make this faster. I want to go fast. Last week, we got tuned. So you saw that, shout out to Sloppy Mechanics for helping out with that. Let's see if the tune did anything. Uh, he mainly just did a trans tune. He said that the truck was pretty stoutly tuned from the factory, so there wasn't much upgrading to do there. I went 16.3 last week. You saw Sarah go 16.0. She is substantially lighter than me, but I'm gonna see if I can get this thing into the 15s just with the trans tune. It shifts a lot harder now. Uh, with the stock 4L60, it was a little bit mushy, so we're gonna go uh, see what it does. Protect the house, okay? If any bad guy comes, bite him right in the dick. Bite him right in the dick. What do you want? What do you want? We gotta go to the mall. We gotta drop these glasses off to some girl. Fucking door handle. What? <laughs> Just to show everybody the longevity of a 4L60E, we came out here to the end of this here road to do something. Even put down water to do a burnout, and it and it broke. I have second gear, I have reverse. I guess it broke first gear, I don't know. Oh my stars for the love of Liza. I'm gonna just probably limp it home like this. We're gonna replace the trans anyway, so it's no big deal, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> so should I just try and do a second gear burnout? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll get you home. Alright, cool. Here, hold this. <laughs> nope, not half. It's a piece of junk. Yeah. I think I just broke another gear. <laughs> Are you able to contain yourself over there? This is hilarious. It's like, it feels like, I don't know. It kind of feels like the rear when you go around a corner like that. Let's try it. Oh boy.
trans, the trans just completely went. I don't even have bark now. Look. <laughs> Great. <laughs> My trailer's still hooked up to the truck. I can't tell. I guess it would be. <laughs> Are you off your f meds or something? Yeah, it's definitely the rear. I was hoping it was the transmission. I'm not sure how it broke up the track, or didn't break up the track, but then it broke. Doing a burnout on a street, but I guess uh, that rear was gonna go either way. Well, let's take into consideration how you drove it to and from the track. That don't have nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Come on! There you go, look at you. Here we go. Being flat toed. I don't want to go all the way back up and get the trailer and come all the way back and then drive all the way back up again. So it's not too far from here. So I guess we'll see how it goes. That's what happens when you try and do a burnout with a 4L60E. Thanks for watching anyways. We were getting ready to go rip it apart anyway. So uh, it's out of commission now, kind of. I'm gonna limp it home in second gear and uh, we're gonna go rip the cam out and throw a turbo in it and do a whole bunch of fun stuff. So thanks for watching, like the video. Uh, catch us next week when we start working on it. And uh, yeah, never trust the 4L6E. I'll catch you guys next week. Oh yeah, go check out the vlog channel too. I'll catch you guys next week.